Hello, my name is Eric with BPS, Fleet Manager here. Want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, the uh, herbicide pumps that we're using on all our sprayers. We've converted most of them over to uh, diaphragm pumps, which is what these are called. There's little diaphragms in here that look like this, um, and this is how the fluid is pumped. Um, it's very important that with these pumps that you are using SAE 30 non-detergent oil. It's a lubricating oil. This is a new pump that we're switching out with this one here. And it's important that you have the oil in the sight glass. This one, we're gonna add a little bit more to it. Just right about there is fine. It doesn't need to be all the way to the top. As you can tell, there's air bubbles coming. Since it's new, we're gonna rotate it by hand. Make sure we get all the air bubbles out of it, just like that. And it's right in the middle, so that's, that's perfect because the oil will expand as it gets warm. But you never want to run this when it's empty. Always make sure that you check this oil level and that you see it in the glass. Some other thing about this pump too, the reason that we're replacing this one is right here it cracked and right here it cracked. And this is because it wasn't properly drained when it was put away. So when they started in the morning, there was frozen water in here and it immediately broke the pump. So make sure that you are draining the pump sufficiently at the end of shift. Sometimes you'll see a valve here. If you don't, you wanna make sure that you unscrew this hose and leave it off. Make sure the valve is shut off to going into the inlet. This is your inlet here, this is your outlet and make sure that you pump all of the fluid out. So shut the valve off going to this or remove the hose, remove this hose, run the pump until you see everything coming out and then you can put it back together and you know you're good for the next day. The last thing is there's a Schrader valve up here on these pumps and there has to be air pressure in here. You wanna make sure that you're checking this if you haven't seen the sprayer yet and haven't run it yet, check this to make sure you have 40 PSI. Every time you check it, it does lose a little bit of air so you wanna make sure that if you check it and it's low, you pump it up to 40 and pull it off and it'll be fine. Hola, vamos a hablar un poco de estas pompas. Esta es una pompa high pro. So estas vamos a, a para evitar que tengamos una quebradura cuando quedan en bajas temperaturas, que de, quedamos agua o química dentro. Es, es muy importante Eh, quitar esta manguera es fácil de quitar y esta otra también y, y dejar prender la pompa para que se circule todo el agua y salga y no le quede agua aquí adentro porque cuando queda agua aquí adentro tenemos este problema que se le queda agua adentro y se craquean con el hielo, con bajas temperaturas. Esto es importante ponerles de este aceite, no detergente, a estas pompitas. Estas evitan que haga espuma el, el aceite. Este es un nivel de, del aceite que lleva, pero muy importante usar esta clase de aceite. Ok, vamos a hablar del diagrama que tiene este aquí adentro. Este lleva de 30 a 40 uh, aire de presión. Cuando miren su, su, su mira de la, de la, del gauge de la, de la presión, que su aguja está moviendo mucho, una que le falta, le falta um, aire. Van a, van a mirar la, la diferencia cuando le pongan aire, que su aguja va a estar estable. 